The oscillating career of film actors is something that avid film fans have become accustomed to. While most publications and news portals are quick to write off actors their established goodwill and talent with just one or two failures, those who have been actively watching movies across languages would know that there are always bound to be surprises in an industry that is so unpredictable. Through this video I wanted to talk about specific films that changed the fate and tide of actors across languages. These are the cases where either actors had absolutely lost their mojo from a commercial point of view with multiple failures years or underwhelming films or the case of returning to the big screen after a huge hiatus and never looking back these movies in the actors filmography not only changed the perception the masses had towards them but also opened the floodgates of endless possibilities for the future where the audience was genuinely geared up for their next venture without further ado talking about the instrumental impact that a movie had on prominent careers here is tried and refused productions with nine most shocking indian movie comebacks that changed careers forever Kamal Hassan The legendary actor tasted his biggest success of his career in his long filmography with Vikram last year. Who would have thought that Kamal Hassan's biggest financial success would be at the age of 68 years? What one should acknowledge regarding Vikram's significance in Kamal Hassan's career is that before this, the actor was on a 4-year hiatus after Vishwarupam 2. which turned out to be a commercial disaster and his last industry defining hit was all the way back in 2008 Kamal Hassan had lost the connection he once had with the audience giving a string of films that commercially failed in the 2010s everyone had created a perception that the versatile and talented legend had lost his mojo but little did people anticipate that he would hit a home run with his return in 2022 This only opens up the endless possibilities that Kamal Hassan will be a part of with the Lokesh Kanagraj universe and also builds exceptional hype for Indian 2 with Shankar Shah Rukh Khan For anyone who has followed Shah Rukh Khan's career in the 2010s especially knowing his potential you'll consider these to be the dark ages for the actor creatively even projects that did commercially well were over the top pot boilers that were barely memorable the actor did not fear taking risks in the last decade or so but every time he went out on the limb to test uncharted territory it was met with absolute rejection from the audience His risks which include fan and zero tanked horribly and even a regular and familiar rom-com like Jab Hari Met Sejal was met with apathy and justifiably so nothing was clicking for the actor and it is only when Shah Rukh Khan after a 4 year hiatus got introduced for the first time in an out and out action film that he delivered the biggest commercial hit of his entire career Skeptics were also shocked at the earth-shattering numbers that the movie did, really marking Shah Rukh Khan's return to the top as Pathan became the highest-grossing Bollywood movie in history. This has also led to generating massive hysteria around his next ventures, Jawan and Dunkey, and what they will have to offer. Fahad Fasil The common perception of the talented Malayalam actor is that he lights up a screen with his eyes and conviction, no matter the setting of the film. What a lot of people need to acknowledge regarding Fahad Fasil and his ability as a performer on the screen today is the years of consciously working on the craft. The actor was launched at the age of 19 with his father's directorial venture and the film was critically and commercially panned, specifically the ability of Fahad as an actor. After a 7-year gap, he appeared in an anthology titled Kerala Cafe in 2009, and there was no looking back ever since as the audience saw a person who was unrecognizable from the last time that they saw him. Since 2009 it's been years of consistent work for the actor and has deservedly garnered the reputation of a man who can do no wrong Junior NTR One of the most popular faces from Telugu cinema right now is undoubtedly Junior NTR an actor who has an unbreakable bond with the Telugu speaking audience and his ventures today are highly anticipated but Tarak himself has gone through an extremely low phase in his career when none of his films were commercially clicking with the audience and this especially commenced from Shakti in 2011 The actor featured in one commercial failure after the other, making people assume that he had lost his ability to connect with the masses. Projects like Dammu, Ramaiya, Vastavaiya and Rabasa were commercial disasters and one wondered, is there ever going to be a return of the actor to the big leagues? And oh, it was. And he made an epic comeback with Puri Jagannath with Temper that had everyone hooting and cheering for him in packed theaters. The movie turned out to be a blockbuster and Junior NTR has been showered with nothing but commercial success and love ever since then. Salman Khan The Bollywood actor had an oscillating career especially in the mid 2000s with sporadic success and many underwhelming films one did not really know whether Salman Khan could ever return back to the stardom that he once had in the 90s Blurps in terms of success in the form of Tere Naam no entry and partner would exist but nothing really solidifying his position as the bankable leading man 
but it was the pokeri remake wanted that really pushed the reset mode for salman in his career where anything that he touched post this would turn into box office gold the bang ready and ekta tiger would follow and the man really tasted super stardom like never before while i'm still worried about kisi ka bhai kisi ki jaan i know very well that tiger 3 is going to cause havoc commercially shri devi If there is a female actor that can truly be considered to be a star and an individual who had massive box office pull it was Shri Devi being one of the highest paid artists at a time where it was unheard of for women Shri Devi was a bona fide star who ruled the 70s 80s and early 90s across Tamil Telugu and Hindi languages after taking a huge break from films in the late 90s a time where one had assumed that Shri Devi's time at films was over she returned with a heartfelt and hugely successful Gauri Shinde film English Winglish in 2012 putting forth the performance as if she never left the big screen i remember the sheer euphoria and happiness people had seeing her back on the screen really accounting for one of the most memorable comebacks by an actor in the film industry sanjay dat other than sajan khalnayak and vastav sanjay dat really was going through a creative slump at the movies in the 90s one odd successful film would be followed by several duds and this trend carried on till the new millennium started with several personal problems with law and order and generic and forgettable ventures one after the other nobody envisioned that a first time director will absolutely revitalize the career of sanjay dat and it was in the form of rajkumar hirani and munna bhai mbbs the movie set the ball rolling not only for a successful franchise but to consider sanjay dat as a leading man in several projects ahead talk about making a mark and sanjay dat has been and only grateful to Hirani and Vidhuvino Chopra for fully revitalizing his career Nina Gupta one of the faces of alternative or indie cinema among Smita Patel and Shabana Azmi was Nina Gupta a firecracker of a performer who was ahead of her time in terms of the content that resonated with her and who left a lasting impression both in movies as well as with her stint in television For some reason however we saw very little of her after the mid 90s in movies with sporadic appearances every 2 to 3 years or so everyone wondered where the actor has gone and why she is not featuring in commercial ventures fate had it that the best was yet to come and the love that she was showered with when she did the 2018 film badhai ho was truly unprecedented her chemistry with gajraj rao and just effortless quality in front of camera left such a lasting impact that producers and writers have been offering her consistent work ever since then and it's safe to say that no one is complaining about it mamuti One of the most fascinating reads that I recently did was of an article on the website on Manorama talking about the significance of the movie New Delhi, a neo-noir action thriller in Mammootty's career in the year 1987. Narrated by scriptwriter Dennis Joseph, he recalls how his movies with Mammootty just didn't seem to work commercially. Both Sayam Sandhya and Nyay Vidya failed terribly, and in the same period of the mid 80s, Mohan Lal was a huge success. Producers were not keen on investing in a Mammootty project and everything seemed to be in disarray. A new project however titled New Delhi that ran for over 100 days at the cinema changed his fate. A risk considering the budget invested in actually shooting in New Delhi and the public perception that persisted regarding Mammootty at the movies. The article also talks about how Priya Darshan was the only one who saw the film before its release. exclaiming and foreshadowing after the screening that it's going to be a hit at the box office and oh it was also marking a huge comeback for mamuti at the movies and that was a video guys write down in the comments below which you think was the most epic comeback in film history please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching